life. Life is that magical four-letter word. Life is full of surprises. Life is full of ups and downs. Life sometimes is a piece of cake. Life sometimes is a hard rock. But life is definitely beyond mere existence. A warm weaving to all. I am Niranjan Mukundan, an Indian para swimmer, a Nation Games medalist, a junior world champion, the one nicknamed as the medal machine of India. While well, all these achievements keep me going and driving to achieve at the highest level possible, I derive a lot of satisfaction through the challenges that I face in my life and the obstacles that I face in my life that has got me to where I am today. Life puts you into a lot of situations. Some situations you handle with your maturity. Some situations you don't even know from where to start. Some situation it traumatizes people who are around you. In one situation, I was born. I was born with a unique medical condition named spina bifida. And I had to undergo 16 major surgeries since birth to stand on my own legs. But I was a fighter. I never gave up. I always took it in a positive note, and I am where I am today. One afternoon, sitting by the corridors in my school, I was talking to myself. Am I going to let my parents carry me all my life? Am I going to be a spectator all my life? And then I realized that life gives you a lot of option. One such option, which was given to me by the doctor, was to choose between horse riding and swimming to strengthen my legs. As a small kid, looking at that gigantic figure of a horse, I was very scared. And to sit on it and go for a ride was even more scarier. So I opted swimming. Once, when my parents dipped me in the water, I felt that chill. But at the same time, I was very happy. Each time they dipped me, I felt like a fish in the water. Usually, where kids take one month, one and a half months to learn swimming, I learned it in two weeks. Every time when an instructor put me at the shallow end, I used to find my way to the deep end. Now when I look back, a lot of instructors lost their job because of my adventures. In one such adventure, I was spotted by the head coach of the swimming pool. He saw a spark of talent in me. He saw a potential in me. He said I could become an international champion. When he convinced my parents that swimming can be taken more than therapy, my parents were shocked. They were, they were, they were not able to take it. He said, sir, my son, my kid is not able to stand on land. He's only able to stand in water. And to represent India in the future is something beyond our imagination. But when he convinced this, four months down the lane, I represented the state at the nationals. I did not do well. I came back to the coach and said, probably competitive swimming is not for me. And then he spoke about patience and perseverance are the key elements for success. Maybe at that time, I wouldn't have realized it. But definitely now, not just in sport, even in life, patience and perseverance are two key elements for success. When I lost a lot of races, it was definitely you know, pinching me. I thought I should give up swimming. But that passion towards sports kept me moving and kept me motivated. And to do well at the international level, I had to set my standards high, which began with the self-discipline. I used to train around eight to nine hours a day, and my day used to start at 4.30 a.m. and go on till 9 a.m., after which I used to go to college. And my evening hours was a good swim of three to four hours. And apart from that, I used to do one to two hours of gym. That made me a very confident person to take up swimming professionally. What also helped me was experience and exposure. I still remember in 2012, I had good exposure. I had a good record in swimming, which gave me a chance to represent India. I was very confident enough to face any swimmer, irrespective of his size, shape, and origin. That was the same year 
where I won the first laurels for my country. It was a very proud moment for me to win a medal for India. And that year was very special to me as I peaked at the nationals winning five medals, out of which three were gold. With every victory brings in a higher set of expectations. And during the World Games of all these years, it's been a test to me of hard work and perseverance. In the year 2013, I was able to grab four medals at international level. And in the year 2014, I was able to grab eight medals in 2014. In the year 2015, which was my personal best, I won 10 medals, out of which seven were gold. I was crowned as the junior world champion there out of 40 countries which took part. The Indian national anthem was played seven different times and everyone stood up each time. And once the medal ceremony was done, I was done, I was given a guard of honor and it gave me goosebumps. Sometimes when I look back at those years, I can't imagine if I could have made it this far. But given my condition, I could have probably been at home and be another ordinary child. But I wanted to take the world challenging. I wanted to prove the world that differently abled are no less than anybody in this world. My biggest dream of all is the Olympics, which still awaits and is my next and immediate action. With this given condition, my parents could have definitely given up and not taken that risk of putting me into competitive swimming. But they took up that risk and took that gamble, knowing up that swimming and sports could open up avenues for me later in the future. Life has given me a lot of situations, some positive, some negative, some good, some bad. But it's always given me that strength and that courage to face the world and to stand apart. I might have won a lot of accolades at this young age, but I still feel that this is just the start and I have a long way to go. I just realized that I took the words of Dory from this famous movie, Finding Nemo, a little seriously. If you all know what it said, when life gets you down, you know what you're going to do? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Thank you so much.